next guest embodies Latino excellence. He's been a champion of Latino representation in Hollywood since he came on the scene nearly 30 years ago. And it makes sense that he would. Just look mm -hmm. at some of the stats that we have okay. unveiled. According to UCLA's 2023 Hollywood Diversity Report, films where at least a third of the cast is made up of people of color, those films see a significant success rate in the box office. Mm. Of that number, Latinos make up only about 2.3% of these. It is a very similar story with streaming. Why is that? Why? Well, our next guest wanted to find out more, and he set out to change it, Alex. Oh, my goodness. As if he's not busy enough. Mm -hmm. Emmy winning actor, producer, among other things, John Leguizamo, which, by the way, I was saying Leguizamo, Marisol said the real way to say it is Leguizamo. Both are acceptable. Leguizamo. So. Leguizamo. Legu oh, oh, hey. Leguizamo. And if you're from Spain, Leguizamo. 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 Estamos aquí. Gracias. <laughs> So that guy is shining a light on how Latinos are thriving in his new docu-series, Leguizamo <laughs> Does America. And he's kicking off the tour in the birthplace that started it all, New York City. We're in the heart of East Harlem. Ooh. We're in the bar heart of El Barrio, Spanish Harlem. Yes, sir. Because this is a historic place. This is where a majority of Latin people came to New York City. The place where salsa and music live. Decades, people like DJ Agujita, aka Raymond Perez, have been keeping these salsa sounds alive. This is culture. This is tradition. This event, this area, this neighborhood. Like I always say, this is not a place where you live, it's a place that lives in you. The people who have been here all of their mm. lives. Oh my goodness. All right, joining us this morning is the one and only. John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, round of applause. She's been, thank she's you, been, thank she's been doing her Duolingo. I uh, have it, been. And it's paying off, because her Spanish sounded better than mine. <laughs> oh, my dad would be so proud. <laughs> so my, my parents would be proud of you, too. <laughs> thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Thank you for thank joining you. us on your very busy schedule. Thank you for having me. You have not been shy about criticizing Hollywood. Oh, hell no. And it's, and it's inability to put Latinos in positions of power, both in front of the camera, behind the, the camera. And I wonder, how does making a show like this, mm. Leguizamo Takes America, um, how will it change the needle in one way or another, do you think? I, I, well, I'm hoping to, to shed a light on, on the amount of talent in, and, and, and ability and, and, and the great Latin excellence across America that's not getting the, the, the opportunity to sit at the table and make the decisions. And I'm going to New York City, Miami, D.C., uh, uh, Chicago, uh, L.A., Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Yes. Uh, and, and I find all these great artists, painters, architects, uh, activists, politicians, chefs. We sit down, we have a few drinks, we dance a little, we laugh a lot, and mm -hmm. that's the recipe. That it's a party. Every show's a party. I would imagine it would be. Sign me up. Yeah. Uh, now, you did a... So l let's talk about the other uh, concept and yes. the idea, how, how yeah. you came to it, because Leguizamo does America. We were talking about this before in our pre-show, mm -hmm. and we're like, I mean, what an idea. You sit down, you have a meal. Yeah. What a way to bring together. And then you talk about solving the world's problems. So Word. How did you, how did you <laughs> arrive at that, at that being how you were going to do this? Well, I, it's kind of like the way I live my life, yeah. and the way Latin people live their lives. You know, we, we create these little rituals because we love community, and it's mm. usually over cafecito, over dominoes, over dancing. So I wanted to recreate that and, and still smuggle in content, information, mm -hmm. and things that are difficult to, to listen or to talk about, mm. and yet we're still going to laugh about it. Yeah. You know? I love that so much. Based on... First of all, how difficult was it to get this show greenlit? Well, I, I didn't realize my agent reminded me. I thought it was two years. He said it was six years in pitching. Wow. Because it's hard. People didn't understand the value of Latin culture. And you have to download them up 500 years we've been here. And before that, we were great empires, mm -hmm. Taino empires, Aztec, mm -hmm. Inca. I can't download that in 20 minutes. No. So how do they get my culture? They don't. Right. Until Cesar Conde the chairman of NBC, NBC yeah. and Ra Rashida Jones, the first Afro-American yes. NBC uh, executive chair, gave me the opportunity, right. and that's why I'm here. They saw that black and brown stories really do need to be yeah. told. And it doesn't hurt, by the way, if they're being told by this guy. Well, I know. Hey, hey, the hey, perfect yeah. man the best for the I job. Well, you're an incredible <laughs> storyteller. And, and a jack of all trades, really. Yeah, because you talk about downloading our history in yeah. 20 minutes. You did that on stage with... <laughs> Latin history for moron. Dios <laughs> mio. Yeah, because I was a moron, too. I can't believe I didn't know all this information all that morons? existed. Yeah. Yeah, we were, yeah, we're all pretty much morons. But, yeah. you, but you grew up, you went to public school in New York. Oh, yeah, so, you know, <laughs> I didn't learn anything. I, but I did learn how to hang out. I did learn how to dance. I learned how to curse. You learned how to tag up. A... I learned how to tag up <laughs> everywhere I could, yeah. 
<laughs> I you had, did, but yeah. you didn't learn about Latino history, nor oh, did I. Me, um, yep. We're not in history textbooks. History textbooks are made in Texas. I don't know why, oh but that's where they're made, and we're not included. And, and yet, we're the only ethnic group to have fought in every single war mm -hmm. America has ever had, the most awarded ethnic minority in every single war. And I'm talking about 10,000 unknown Latino patriots in, in uh, the American Revolution. 20,000 of us fought in the Civil War. 500,000 of us fought in World War II with thousands of heroes, and none of those are in movies, textbooks, Discovery Channel, nowhere to be seen. So you Erasure. took it upon, yeah, you took it upon yourself, traversing the lower 48. That's right, that's right. Thank and you it's fun, and I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I love my people, I love my culture, and I love bringing it and putting it forward. Yeah. Speaking of fun, <laughs> we got to the nuts and bolts, because yeah. that's really the most important thing that you're doing right now. Right. But you've, done, you've, you've starred, and you've been a part of so many wonderful projects all over the spectrum, uh, from animation, Bruno, Sid. Sid the Slug, yeah, Sid the Slug. I should have sent the picture to Brittany. My puppy does this thing where he kind of lays, he goes stiff arm, and he looks like Sid the Sloth, and it's uncanny. I'll What's send it a funny looking little guy? He, yeah, he Sid is. the Sloth is a funny looking he guy. Is, he is a funny looking little man. Uh, but what, to one of my favorite projects that you've done of all time, the 2014 uh, film Chef. Oh and my God, I love that little film. I, I've watched yes, it so many times, you. I cry all the time. And I, that's kind of like going along with what you're doing with this new project. You know, it's inspired by Choi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. And was one of the great L.A. chefs, yeah. chefs of, of America. Of America, yeah. I yeah. mean, everything circles back to, to food. food. Well, oh, when yes, people yes, are not true, hungry, they can negotiate better, right? That's right. I, absolutely. And food is a communal event. It's an event where we, we, we put down our, 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 our troubles, put down our, our, our beliefs, and we can commune and share. And it's, and it's a beautiful moment to, like, you know, you, if you're sharing food, you can share ideas, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's a subliminal thing that's happening. Right. Can we talk about one of those animated films, Encanto? Oh, yeah, um, I Bruno. love that film. When you approach it, because you are so multifaceted, yeah. you can channel a sloth, which I understand you had to workshop that. You were like, oh, yeah, what? I had 50 what? voices. I was trying, yeah. like, southern voices, because sloths are kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, nah, uh and then I tried, oh, but it's a little more ghetto like that, talk like that, because not too aggressive or whatever. And, and then I, I finally discovered that uh, that sloths chew of food and they keep it in their mouths and it, it ferments. So I started eating a sandwich and I was eating a sandwich and like, oh my God, I think I found myself. This, this, this has got to be the, the, so the, the part behind you, the you, curtain here. The, what, what, a, what an acting process. Did you have a Cuban sandwich the whole it time? It was a Cuban <laughs> sandwich. You know how you know, they, sometimes they, they are a little hard to swallow. A little, a little tough. <laughs> yeah, a little a little tough. The one that I was getting was uh, but not a good bodega. Well, from, not from, the bodega. from Sid to Encanto, a lot of years changed. You were pitching this show over the time. Yes, that, I you was. Know. So Encanto had a very different reach, a very different audience. It was also completely Latino yeah, cast. Yeah, but they didn't know that they had a hit on their hands. I mean, we had a, 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 a nice premiere in L.A. Uh, you know, nobody showed up except us Latinos. And, and, the, and the rollout wasn't big. But then when it hit on, on, on Disney+, Plus, it became their biggest hit they've ever mm -hmm. had on Disney. The number one song in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's all very specific Latin culture. And that's, that's the recipe yeah. for Latin content. It's not that we have to represent all Latino right. diaspora. But we need to be specific because we relate to it. Right. When I saw like Water for Chocolate, I relate to it. When I see Joel Lopez's show, even though he's Mexican, I relate, relate. to him. You know right. what I mean? If it's specific, I relate. Yeah. That makes complete sense. I, You're I'm, making a believer out of this one. I she am. wants to be I, too. What did I tell you? <laughs> I'm an honorican. She's an honorican. Oh, <laughs> and I'm a sort of rican. You're a, I, you have she's a rican or full? I'm totalmente boricua. Totalmente. Born, de, de cabeza a la punta los pies. Exactly. From top to bottom. Let's go, let's go back to him at the desk oh, for right. a second. Because you just wrapped up your week of hosting The Daily Show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was this perhaps your official audition? It, I, you know, I didn't want to look at it that way, but I think that's what it was. It <laughs> was an audition. You look good back there. Look at that. Look Yo, at that. me, wow, you cleaned up. That is a yeah, spiffy. Yeah, yeah, I clean up well. That is a spiffy man. <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of people working on me. He's got, he's got the papers, too. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. No, I, I wanted to feel official like y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it is an audition. They're going to finish uh, all the correspondence finished this month, and then they're going to decide. I don't know how they decide on ratings or, or laughs. I'm not sure yeah. what they do. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what happens. If they gave it to you, would you do it? Uh, let, 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 let's wait for the offer before I, we start talking about that. <laughs> He's like, let's see what the, the numbers are. Well, well, let's yeah. just put about the metrics, you. like cash. How, yeah, let's see how many, ca how many commas there are. <laughs> and zeros. Look, and I, yeah, yeah. I can negotiate for you too. Before Thank we go, you. Oh, she good. Born and bred in Queens, New York. Your baseball team of record? 
The match, baby, yeah, the yeah. match. Ay, Dios mío. How do you yeah, think yeah. we're going to do this year? I think we got a big shot, man. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I feel it this year. Last year we were so close that this year we got we to gotta get there. Yeah, a couple of And decades. the Knicks aren't too bad, too bad either. Oh, the Knicks are in the playoffs. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, to the uh, next Friday. I'm going to go to the game. When you go to the game, you sit right there, right yeah, there. Yeah, courtside. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I love that. What a privilege, and thank you, MSG, for giving me that. <laughs> John so I can get more seats. <laughs> John Luggies Elbow Does America premieres this Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern on MSNBC. It's also streaming on Peacock. Yeah. Caballero. Oh, okay. Un placer. Thank you. Thank, pleasure. Thank, pleasure. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Gracias. Much gracias. Listen, <laughs> if you want to continue Muchas practicing. Muchas gracias. Si no, de España. Muchas gracias. Sí. Le quizamos. Le quizamos. Le quizamos.